Good morning, everybody. It's Hope from Cedar Hollow Gardens, and I'm in my kitchen. And the reason I'm in my kitchen, I was listening to Jess yesterday from Roots and Refuge talk about her garden view. And I don't know if that's my window. You can't see anything here because it's very dreary here today. But I came back today um, to unbox something from you. For, for, from you. Blech. Speak out of English. Anyway, for you. And what I have here is from Baker Creek. <laughs> so, this is live plants that I am probably not unboxing well with a kitchen knife, but it does the job uh, pretty efficiently for me. And I've got no help today. Camera girls at school. Camera dude just left to go to work. And camera dude... Uh, junior, even though he's the middle child, that's the one that lives at home. The singer songwriter, Junior, uh, not not Junior, because my husband hated Juniors, so he is not Mark Junior. He is Marcus. Uh, lives in California, so this video is me by myself. So you get to see all the one-handed struggles of a disabled gardener, still getting it done, no matter what. So what? Have I done now? <laughs> well, let's find out. Ooh, I don't love those plastic peanuts, but there they are. Ooh, look at those lovely things. Those I am so excited for. These lovely things are one, two, three, four, five, six purple sweet potatoes. And when I say purple, I mean like my color purple bright purple um, Molokai purple sweet potatoes from Hawaii is what these guys are and what I was going to do is put them in a little bit of water because they've been sitting about a week because I haven't had time to get to them and ooh, oh my gosh oh, the smell of earth there is a lady named Margaret Atwood who is an author who has a very, a quote that inspires me every time I hear it, and it is, it goes like this. In the spring, one should smell of the earth. And I cannot tell you how much I agree with that. I was thinking I was going to get little teeny um, potatoes and would have to slip them out. So I had this big jug of water ready, which I'm going to pour into this pitcher right now. But I have some plants in the front that I can use that water for so I won't waste it. But these are big, gorgeous slips and ready to go. If it weren't raining and miserable here all day, I would be planting them out. I know, there's the teeth again. You guys know I can't help it. And, funnily enough, though you can't see this in the shot, I'm going to show you what I did. I had a few skewers ready on a potato ready to um, put it in the water and didn't get um, potatoes, got actual slips. So I'm just going to give those a little water and probably you'll see me plant these out tomorrow. So I just wanted to share with you when you get live plants from Baker Creek, oh my goodness gracious are they gorgeous. I am in love. I'm so excited. Um, if you follow Patrick Dolan on Facebook, and I do, you know his channel is One Yard Revolution if you've forgotten, um, he has a picture of the most glorious sweet potato pie on there, and it is deep, luxurious purple, and he's always putting up recipes, um, so when I saw that, I thought, I said, I actually commented and said, my goodness, Patrick. I just ordered those, and that's exactly what I plan to do with them. Um, because in the African-American culture, at Thanksgiving, we tend to do 